today, today and this morning. So, let's proceed with the program po. Uh, I would like to introduce to you the pioneer of Philo for Children. Uh, this at siya po yung uh, kinikilala namin na uh, mentor on the community of inquiry. Uh, naging dean po siya ng College of Social Sciences and Philosophies. Let's all give a big hand to Dr. Sosimo E. Lee. Ayan, kinabahan pa ako sa pangalan ni Sir. Hello po, good morning, Dr. Lee. Uh, can you hear me? Naka-unmute ba ako? Hindi naman po, sir. We can hear you po. Ah, okay, sige. So, uh, salamat sa introduction, Aleli. Uh, babatiin ko rin si Dean Bidad ng MSU Jensen. Uh, Totoy, uh, Abby, and I were in Jensen a few years ago uh, giving a workshop on philosophy for children. So, kagaya nga nagnabanggit nila, Uh, yung ginagawa namin dati sa Philo for Children uh, in person, no? Kaya bago din sa akin itong uh, interaction by, by internet, no? So, ako rin eh, gusto kong malaman kung paano ba yung inventing the wheel. Uh, kagaya nga nung napakita at sana mapakita ulit ni Toto yung mamaya but before the breakout sessions, yung short presentation on the community of inquiry, yung pagbanggit ng social, cognitive, at teaching presence. Kasi talaga ko nakakatulong yon to, in a way, uh, frame in our minds what is involved in the community of inquiry. Uh, for those who are hearing the words community of inquiry for the first time, uh, basically it's a methodology uh, which uses a text And the text can be either a written text, it can also be a video, it can be a cartoon, it can be a news article, even a poem, even a picture. Uh, bilang stimulus for discussion. Uh, the members of the community of inquiry pose questions that are provoked in them by the text. Tapos yung mga questions na yon sinusulat kasi ang point doon The learning agenda, what will be what will be talked about, has to come from the participants. It is not the teacher or the facilitator that dictates what the learning agenda will be. Rather, the learning agenda comes from the participants. I say even there, merong ownership na learning agenda. So, again, the text can be something written, it can be a video, it can be a picture can be a poem, but as long as it is provocative enough that it will lead to meaningful questions. Uh, meron din kasi when, when the participants in the community inquiry are the ones that pose the questions, yung sabihin, magpapamalas na sila kung ano yung para sa kanila mahalaga o significant doon sa stimulus sa uh, text. So basically, yun ang nangyayari. And then the learning agenda uh, flows from organizing the questions in the world so that you can itemize more or less, uh, you can see what, what more or less will be uh, the themes that are interesting for the participants. And so they can be set down as the learning agenda And that can set off all the the discussions. So the role of the facilitator is basically to ask each one what he or she thinks about the questions that have been posed. Ang kahalagahan nung starting with the questions is that you are already uh, starting with something that is of interest to the participants, hindi of interest to the facilitator. Sabihin, again, Uh, what is going to be the topic for conversation is what is interesting to the participants. Uh, meron lang simpleng processes na facilitating things like when somebody says something to ask for the meaning, anong ibig masabihin sa sinasabi mo. And then you can also ask for what are your assumptions or what are your presuppositions. And then if you say a certain idea, The facilitator can ask, 
what will be the implications or the consequences of that idea? And then when you say something, what is your basis? What is your evidence? What is your proof? Bakit mo sinasabi yung yung sinasabi? So basically, these are the kinds of questions that can amplify the discussion. So mag, mag, magko-contribute na ang bawat isa. Kasi really what is uh, the purpose of the discussion is really to get at the reasons for why the person holds the views that he or she has. So it's really being able to identify the reasons and the thinking behind what the person says. So uh, if you look at it now from a meta level, uh, what is going on in a community inquiry is really a response to certain fundamental questions. First of all, kaya nga natin sinasabi community of inquiry is that really we are thinking together or we are responding together. And the thinking together really happens or occurs when we listen uh, uh, purposively and deeply to what each one is saying. Kaya yung nabanggit kanina na uh, social presence or even cognitive presence. When I am fully listening to what somebody is saying, I am being fully present to that person. Uh, wala akong judgment, wala akong biases. Kumbaga, I, it is as if I put myself into the place of the person. I'm imaginatively uh, thinking in myself, where is this person coming from? Uh, ano ba yung kanyang naisipahiwatik sa kanyang sinasabi? So I am being fully present in that uh, person's narrative or discourse. Uh, kasi that flows from the question during the community inquiry, who are we to each other? Uh, when we are fully listening to the other, who are we with that person? Kasi kung talagang total yung identification natin with the person speaking, in a sense, nawawala tayo. We are really with that person as that person is narrating or sharing what he means by the ideas that he is talking about. Yung spotlight nasa kanya talaga. And it's, it's a very gratifying feeling uh, when you know that people are really listening to you. Parang, in, in a way, uh, ikaw yung tagadala ng narrative. So that if you try to look at the question, who are we to each other, we are really, in a way, giving value to that person just as he is. Uh, pinapa, pinaparamdam natin sa taong yon, na tinatanggap natin siya sa kanyang buong pagkatao. Uh, I hope I mean, I'm sure the philosophers among us will appreciate that. Kasi related din doon sa who are we to each other is who is a friend? Uh, ano ba talaga yung ibig sabihin ng pagiging kaibigan? Kasi if we are building community in the community of inquiry, what does it mean to be a friend? Uh, kasi at the same time that we are thinking with another, siguro at the back of our minds, iniisip din natin, Ano kaya yung maaaring pang puno o pang enlarge doon sa kanyang sinasabi o ano kaya yung aking maidadagdag? Kaya lumalawak ang community inquiry is precisely when there is a widening of horizons. And the widening of horizons occurs precisely when we, in a way, append or add to the perspective that we hear, that we are, are appreciating or are listening to. Yung widening of horizons enlarges precisely what each individual alone can understand or can appreciate. Yung example kanina nga dun sa slide tungkol kay Charles Sanders Pierce, lahat ng mga blind men, nakikita nila parte-parte ng elephant. But precisely when you put together all their different perspectives, mm-hmm. saka nagkakaroon ng wider hole nagkakaroon ng malawag na pananaw. Kaya, in a way, mas na-approximate nila uh, through the 
widening of horizons, uh, what reality can be so that yung thinking, thinking together or thinking with each other can lead to a widening of horizons. And the widening of horizons is a collective product or a collective achievement. Nangyayari yun kasi yung binanggit din dun sa slide kanina, kaya siya constructivist. Kasi you are really building, in a way, a more complete picture, a more robust picture, or a widening of horizons. Kaya uh, what is involved in the exchange is not only a certain kind of reciprocity and mutual respect. Kinikilala natin ang kahalagahan ng bawat isa na nag-aambag at tumutulong. Pinagpapahalagahan din natin, hindi lang yung kanya sinasabi, pero yung ating exchange with that person, ibig sabihin, binibigyan natin ng value yung opportunity natin to bridge uh, perspectives so that uh, in a way, we are able to enlarge nga even our own understanding of what we initially thought about the matter. So ang nangyayari talaga sa, collect, sa community of inquiry is that you have a collective process wherein people not only learn from each other and learn with each other, but they really get to attain or achieve a larger view than would have been possible if they had thought about the issue alone or by themselves. So that occurs precisely as an achievement of the whole group. Kaya napakahalaga ng sense of collective achievement. And sometimes that is done when the facilitator synthesizes or integrates the different views, uh, gives a mark more or less regarding what we have achieved thus far or what have been resolved. And also at the same time to identify the further questions that need to be tackled or can be tackled. So I will end with the idea that the community of inquiry can become an institution for virtue and justice. Uh, kahalagahan, uh, kaya may link talaga ito sa ethics. Kasi minsan nag-iisipan natin sa ethics, ano ba yung individual virtues. No? Pero sa community of inquiry, the virtue of listening, the virtue of being with one another, the virtue of respect and reciprocity, and at the same time, tolerance, the acceptance of difference, the recognition of individuality, and the complexity of each and every person. So that within the community of inquiry, kasi minsan tinatanong natin, when do you achieve, for example, social justice? Uh, is it far into the future? Kasi ang community of inquiry can already be an institution in the here and now that people can create and construct so that they can be just with one another through the mutual interaction and respect that we accord one another. We already have an institution which can instantiate and exemplify what a just institution can be when you recognize, for example, difference and uh, the fact that uh, people can have different ideas, you reject them because they have different ideas. Uh, pero yun nga, when you are able to deal with difference and work through your differences, you are showing how it can be that people with different ideas initially can come to an understanding that either we agree to disagree or I understand my protagonist better than initially than I initially had. In other words, the community of inquiry can be an institution of justice and virtue in the here and now. And it is something that is constructed precisely through mutual understanding, through trying to work through our differences until we are able to arrive at a point, either we agree to disagree or we have come to a higher resolution perhaps what we thought were our differences. So in that sense, the community of inquiry can be an institution that 
institutionalizes, can be an institution that actualizes in the here and now, the moral virtues that we seek. Kasi constructivist nga siya, ginagawa siya sa pangkasalukuyan. Yun lang po. So again, to re recapitulate, uh, we need to ask ourselves, who are we to each other? Uh, who is a friend? To recognize the value of reciprocity and mutual respect, that it is thinking together and constructing uh, a deeper understanding with one another regarding a wider perspective that we can have about the questions that we have. And, that, and then finally, that the community of inquiry can be an institution of justice and virtue. Thank you.